sport, Australian rules football, the Wasatch War Goals, and they take to the field today, battling for fifth place at the 2024 USAFL Western Regional Championships. They'll do so against the San Diego Lions. G'day everyone, I'm Brian Barish. Great to have your company on our penultimate game of our coverage of the Western Regionals here from Farmington, Utah, just to the north of Salt Lake City. We're at the Western Sports Park, and this is a battle for fifth place of the six-team men's division. It's the Wasatch War Goals in the teal, and they are joined by members of the Portland Steelheads, while the San Diego Lions, who we're getting a look at for the first time today, they have members of the Arizona Hawks and the Las Vegas Gamblers. Both of these teams are 0-2 and, and hoping to leave today with a victory, and Wasatch would love to pick up a victory for their home fans. A look at how both teams fared in their respective pools. And the War Goals lost in our first game of the day, 76 to nothing, the Sacramento. And they lost to LA 74 to nothing. So they're not only looking for their first win, they're looking for their first point. For San Diego, they also had a rough day, having fallen to Seattle 68 to 1, and then putting a better effort into their loss to Golden Gate 49 to 20. We are playing four 10 minute quarters. On this hot day with temperatures now at 93 degrees. Wasatch in the teal going from left to right. Or right to left, beg your pardon. And the Lions in the maroon and the gold going from right to left, kicking towards the Wasatch side. Going back to get it. Big. Oh, they are all sorts of... Uh, bodying all over the place are the Lions, and we have a mass of bodies in front. Umpire Vicky Schoenegel says we'll have a ball up. Wasatch, for, uh, founded in 2018 by Danny Kouser, really came on in their own. And it will be a free kick in front. I thought that was a, thought there was a ball up, but there was an infraction in front. So a chance for the Lions to draw first blood here, or rather for the War Goals to do so. That kick is on the way, and it's there for a goal, and there is the first score of the day for the home team. Get around him. And that is Anthony Golden, who kicks a fantastic goal, one of the Portland players, and the War Goals have the lead here at home. Wasatch, one straight six. San Diego yet the score. Well, Golden, who played a fantastic game in the first uh, in the first game, and you know we watched it. We mentioned that Sacramento. I think really, you know, they it looked like they dominated, but Wasatch made some really key plays out the back, and they played really, really strongly. So, this is a team that is learning very much. Most of these players are American, of course. Portland bringing a fair bit of American guys. Golden is one of them, but they have some Aussies. This one is sent in by the Lions. As that one is at the top, and it is marked defensively. We mentioned in the first that they have Luke Cruz, a Queenslander. Three of his sons are playing, and I met a fourth one over there, Hamish, uh, who is still a little young to play. That's Martin Coventry who takes the mark. And he finds a connection. And now the War Goals trying to put some, some of these together. Up on the far side, the Lions trying to get it out of there as player gets taken down. Big tackle from behind. And it's going to get called as a free kick. Good job by Lucas Golson to pick that one up. Wind starting to pick up a little bit more here was relatively flaccid for most of the day and now gusts of about 20 25 miles per hour are starting to show themselves and the temperature as we said when we started today the first the first game it was at about 73 degrees and it was really comfortable but now it's at 93 and the wind right now helping the War Goals in this first quarter. They'll switch ends as we have a little something or other happening over on the side and the ball will come back in the play. <coughs> a 
And after all of that, it's a free kick. Well, lost in a lot of stuff happening. It's a Jordan Easley Coleman for the work. <coughs> excuse me, for the Wurgles. And that one is played out in the middle of the ground. Tipped off the top. Over to get it is uh, is Max Ducey, who played well out of the fullback position. He was tested constantly. Nice mark. And a free kick opportunity and a, a goal scoring opportunity for the Lions. And it is again Lucas Golson, number five. Golson strides forward. See if he can tie the game with a straight kick. Right footed kick is on the way. It's got the journey, or does it? Almost marked in front, and they dive on it. Three players on each side. That from a wide angle. Great pressure, and it's out of bounds on the full, I think. The war goals are claiming that it was touched. And they're appealing to the goal umpire, who is the, the closest person. And it is going to be a boundary throw in. So <clears throat> it was it was a great it was a great opportunity as the ball gets knocked down once again. It's going to get picked up. Throws that one on the left. It'll come out to the near side. Nice mark coming over and taking it. Seventy seven plays out one in the middle. That's uh, Robinson and it's turned over. Here come the war goals. Midway through this first half, uh, first quarter. Again, four 10-minute quarters. They play up on the far side, bounces in front, throws out one on the left. And it is marked by Peter Abernathy, one of the Arizona players. The Hawks, champions of Division Three in 2021. Came up one game short in 2022 against Denver. Picked off by Wasatch, high in the air, waiting and taking the mark is Tristan Cruz, one of the Cruz kids. Up high, big contact in there, but Robinson's going to get the footy out of it. Turns and kicks that one on to the left. Who wants it? That drops and bounces away. Going after to get it <coughs> and sliding in was Alex Fernandez. And we'll have a ball up. Wasatch still leads 6-0, but San Diego has had the sway of play since then, although that one is dropped by Sawyer. Going to get picked up. Big tackle thrown in. Ball cried the crowd. Ball, says the umpire. And again, Tristan Cruz, who did a good job of taking down Matthew Anderson, one of the three Las Vegas gamblers on the side. Up on the far side now, and it's marked nicely by Luke Cruz. That's the, that's the patriarch of the Cruz clan. And Cruz going to get picked up on the far side. Long handball across. Stabbed in over the top. Just got a paw to it. Rintoul is there. Robinson, or check that, that's uh, Fields is there. And that one is shot towards the sticks. The goal umpire bends his back. And it's through for a goal. And we are tied here in Farmington. San Diego, one straight six. Wasatch, one straight six. The Lions, always in the shadow of the Denver Bulldogs during the de league's first decade. They had won two national championships and were really the only hiccup in Denver's ownage of the men's Division I title for so many years. A win in 2001, a win again in 2006. There's an infraction in the square. There can only be four players in the square, and <coughs> it's a free kick. Oh, oh, what a nice mark. And again, it was Fields who got it by the late-arriving Lajue, as this one is sent in by Fields, and that one is across the face and through for a behind. And that is enough to give San Diego the lead. 1-1 for the Lions on the Watch AFL scoreboard. Wasatch one straight. About a minute and 45 to go here in the first quarter. 
Franklin. Well, chased up on the far side now. Of course, we have the third place game between Seattle and Los Angeles on the other side. <coughs> Ball goes out of bounds once again. And we mentioned Arizona. They won in 2011 Division Three again in 2021 when they were alongside Philadelphia. Las Vegas won Division Four when they were alongside St. Louis back in 2022. Of course, we mentioned Portland and their success at the regionals and at the national level, 2015-2016 Men's Division Three national title. But Wasatch, this has been their biggest showing at any tournament, and must say they've been immensely good hosts. So this one drops in front. Now they're trying to get back into the swing of things. This one's going to get picked up out the back. Oh, just able to shed one tackle. Went for the hand pass. Did well. Now swings around. Does uh, does coffee. Sending this one high in the air. Two on two contest. Going to get picked up by Ducey. Ducey picks this one up. Who wants it? Everybody. Who's got it? Marked nicely by Ben Keith. Had a lot of touches in the first game, went to play, and then changed his mind. Chipped up over the top, not almost had it. A for effort there, handballed it away. This is Bag who sends this one into the top of the goal square. Going to bounce the way, and I think we had an infraction first. And that will do it, and that, as the free kick was for San Diego, nothing more is going to come of that, and that ends the quarter. A very entertaining first quarter. Two evenly matched teams. Wasatch finally got their first points of the weekend of the day, but San Diego answered back. And at the end of the first quarter, it's the San Diego Lions 7, the Wasatch War Goal 6. We'll come right back for the second quarter. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the 2024 USAFL Western Regional Championships here on USAFL.com. Second quarter of this game, the fifth place game of the men's division. And Western Regionals between Wasatch and San Diego is underway. San Diego leading 7-6 as the second stanza gets underway. Ball comes out to the near side. Going to get picked up and, and getting taken down without the ball was Witt Hyde. And he didn't have clean possession of it. He's slow to get up. And it will be a free kick. Hyde waits. Puts this one on the right as they're kicking to the Salt Lake end. Drops in front and skittering away now and sending this one free. Waiting and taking the mark <coughs> is Coffee. Coffee, who won best and fairest, <coughs> excuse me, at Nationals in 2019. Big booning kick, and it's a 50 meter penalty. I'm not sure for what, but with what that was. And you just see, I think that was, I think that may have been Hyde asking what the call was. Just, you know, and I didn't hear it, otherwise I'd tell you. But here is Coffey, and we've already seen he can boot the ball 70 meters down. The kick is up on the way. Oh, this might have the journey. It does, but not the direction. And San Diego has another point. Watch AFL scoreboard. San Diego, 1-2-8. Wasatch, 1 straight 6. Of course, we've got the Division I game coming up, Division I grand final coming up after this. Sacramento trying to win their first top-level regional title against the Golden Gate Ruse, a team that has won every year bar one since 2016. Here's Golden. Golden waiting. Now he, able to, he turned the ball over. San Diego back the other way, sending this one down. It is off the chest. Big contact in front of it, and Hyde was second best. Kick this one out into the middle. Over the top now as Ducey and the uh, San Diego player just went down grabbing his, I hope that's his ankle. Yeah, it looks like it just got toosted a little bit. We'll have a ball up as uh, we have a quick stoppage for the injury. That was uh, Johnson, by the way, in there for San Diego. So ball up for Sandy, San Diego with the ball in their center half forward. 
Umpire tosses it to the heavens, gets knocked down. Darren Henderson, number 90, who's been around a long time with this club. That's Coventry looking for Hyde. Hyde gets taken down, just got it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. And it's going to be a good tackle by Schwab, who did a good job of pressure. Schwab goes back. He's looking, looking, thinking about it. Now is told to play on and does. And it's picked off the other way. Big, big boot down the ground. It bounces up high in the air, and the mark was taken over the top nicely by Milne. 8-6 the lead. Three and a half gone, second quarter. This one swapped away, high in the air. Oh, big collision. What a big, big collision, but a good job in both players getting up as Mathis, like another player for Las Vegas. This one is sent in. And the ball goes out of bounds for a boundary throw in, but San Diego is in good position. 8-6 the score, six minutes to go here in the third term. Or rather the second term. Second? Yeah. <clears throat> ball back in the play. And it's Ducey. Tries to get it out the back, up the far side. Almost takes the mark, got knocked down. Is that Hyde again? No, there he is on the near side. As this one is skied up high and it's marked nicely by Coffey. Coffey will go back. Once again, this is very much in his range. He is standing almost at the center circle and he's going to bang this in from 60 meters out. It's on the way. It's going to be short. Swatted away by the Wurgles. There's Coventry in front. Covers up Johnson and forces a ball up. It was 7-6 a quarter time. San Diego's added one behind. They're going to add more here. Off the left foot. It's a fantastic goal in front. And that's their second goal of this game. The Lions go, <coughs> go to 2-2-14. Two, two, Wasatch one straight. Lead at eight points now. The Lions have always been a team that play very tough. And we, we had started to mention on an earlier game about Seattle. San Diego had a very similar issue where their club in about 2013, 2014 was struggling mightily. And it's interesting because the first Western Regionals that I did, it was in uh, Davis, California in 2015. And both the... What happened to the ball? The ball has been sent inexplicably back towards one side. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, that was strange. Um, and San Diego and Seattle combined on one of those teams. That was the start of the comeback because both of those teams didn't have a full side at Nationals in 2014. 2015 was the start of the comeback. And in 20. By 2016, they, they, all had, they, they all had full teams again. And they met San Diego and Seattle in 2017, met in the Division Three Grand Final. Seattle knocking off the Lions at home in San Diego. Ducey, off the right foot, goes high in the air, and that is out of bounds on the full. And it is sailing in Christopher Cross style. And you get a pretty good shot of the mountains, at least the base of the mountains here just to the west of the Wasatch Range. This, this club was named after it. And we talked about when Danny Kalser founded the team in 2018. He didn't just want, oh, that's a great tackle. He just kind of pulled him down and wins the free kick. He doesn't want to name the team Salt Lake City. He wanted to name it for this entire region. And with inspiration from the Williamstown Seagulls in the VFL, a team that has been around since the, before the 20th century. So ball up, and those jumpers, you can see they've got the little mountain, you've got the, the bird. That one's cleared out. 
It was one of the best. It was probably my favorite in the entire comp. One of my favorites in the entire competition. And it's marked by the number 69, Nemeron. And he'll go back to have a chance to extend the lead, which is 14 to 6 right now. Kick is on the wall. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful kick. And it sails behind for a behind. Funny how that works. San Diego 2 3 15. Wasatch one score. Bryant one, one straight. Six, nine point lead. Brian Barris here with you. Glad that you're here on USAFL.com with a minute and a half to go in this first half of the fifth place game. Nice mark. Stepping up and taking the mark was 54, which was Max Rintoul. Rintoul sending this one in. Battle for it out in front around the corner. Did it make it a dead? Oh, hello. Right out of the top shelf and Just trying to see who scored it. Give that to Dominic Fields. And another goal for the Lions. They go to 3-3-21. And Wasatch, one behind. Uh, San Diego. I said San Diego. Yeah, San Diego, 3-3. Three, three. Wasatch, one, behind, uh, one, one straight six. Sorry. It's 21-6 uh, to six should be the score, yeah. Ball goes high in the air. We're underway <coughs> Excuse me, once again. Less than 30 seconds to go here in this second half, in the second quarter. And again, remember we're playing 10-minute quarters. Johnson may have earned a free kick, or did he give it away? He earned it. He's going to send this one in, trying to fly it out the back. Here's the mark, and this one's going to come after the siren. Just keeping the binoculars on to see who it is. It is, in fact, Lucas Golson, who will try to punctuate this first half with another Lions goal. Kick will come after the siren, so if it falls short or kept in the field of play, it will end. Golson strides forward, sends it on its way. His teammates like it, but the goal umpire doesn't. It's through four behind, and that ends the half. Watch AFL scoreboard. At the end of 20 minutes, it's the San Diego Lions, three goals, 4-22. The Wasatch, war goals, one straight six. It's a 16-point lead. Pretty competitive first half. Wasatch is playing well, but San Diego showing their experience. And you know, the Portland guys are getting involved as well. Same thing with Arizona and Vegas, but San Diego showing their class at the Division I side against the team that is still very much learning in Wasatch and Portland, as we've said, team that's bounced up and down between Division Three and Division Two over the years. We'll be back with the second half of this fifth place game of the men's division at the 2024 USAFL Western Regional Championships from Farmington, Utah, here on USAFL.com. Back here at the Western Sport Fields here in Farmington, Utah, the 2024 USAFL Western Regional Championships Second half of this fifth place game about to get underway between the San Diego Lions and the Wasatch Wargles. It's the Lions up 22 to one as we get set for the third quarter. Brian Barish back here with you. Glad that you are here as well. And our thanks to a number of our sponsors who we've been thanking throughout the day, including Tasmanian Cooper's Beer, our good friends here at Discover Davis who have helped put this show on. And of course, the good folks here at the Western Sports Park. The umpire is ready and so are we. Third quarter action. Can the uh, War goals uh, down by 16 points get into the game a little bit more. They are kicking now towards the left side of screen, the Wasatch side. <coughs> and here is Martin Coventry, who's played more than 250 USAFL games. He's got to be up there in terms of the leaders if we kept better records. And we'll have a ball up on the far side. Wasatch. As we've mentioned, Lizzie Sawyer doing an amazing, amazing job. Her and her husband, Tyler, coming down from Minnesota. Uh, Lizzie played, of course, for the Minnesota Freeze for many years. Captain of the USA Liberty at one time. And 
I think one of the best born leaders. Almost a specky attempt over the top. I think that was by Ducey. And uh, it was Ducey out the back now. And big tackle. Good job of, of the tackle put in there by James Begg. And this one is sent in. <coughs> Ball comes back the other way. And that is Fields, who is paddling his way through. Robinson dives in there. Ball gets batted around. And up the far side. And the ball goes out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. Just repeating, San Diego with members of Arizona and Las Vegas. The Hawks and the Gamblers respectively and Wasatch with members of the Portland Steelheads. And if you're watching us live, we'll let you know that uh, coming up after this game, it was a 4 o'clock local scheduled start, but it's going to end up probably being closer to about 20 after or 4.30. We have the division, we have the men's division grand final between the Sacramento Suns and the Golden Gate Ruse. It's a Bay Area Derby matchup, second time that those two teams will have met this season. Sending this one in, as this one is a one-on-one -on -one contest, dropped in front, getting bowled over. That was a Hustler, who, a Hustler who was down there, and we have a whistle, and it'll be a free kick, and it will go the way of San Diego. As the Wargles trying to knock on the door once again, going to get picked up. Witt Hyde able to get through, slaloms through, shot for goal, it's across the face. And it's through four behind. And Wasatch gets their first point in two quarters. The Wargles go to 1-1-7. They trail 3-4-22 San Diego. Great to see them get on the board, with not just with a behind, but with a goal. As a <coughs> the goal, the free kick earned by Anthony Golden, one of the Portland players. And up on the far side. And it's picked off. Kick is up on the way. And out the back. Dropping, however, was uh, Hussler again. He's able to try and get it away. Wasatch has the bit of the win here. They have a little bit of the advantage in this third quarter. Ball comes up over the top. It gets dropped down. Handball out the side. Dropped in front. Big tackle. And, oh, great job of getting the ball. They find Fields. Fields sends this one high up in the air. Ball goes to ground once again. And <coughs> ball is stood up, and a little bit of aggro twister in there, and umpire Vicky Schoenagel, who is the smallest person on the field at the moment, steps in between them and says, uh, just break it up, boys. Here's a chance for goal for the Lions. It's in front. Nice one-handed mark by Anthony Golden. He's playing on both sides of the field, was playing defensively, but is now or offensively, but has gone into the back line. Golden has a player on his left, doesn't see him, decides to go to his right. Again, tipped off the top, ball goes to ground. Hyde, who's been pretty omnipresent. Two war goals there, have all sorts of time. Nobody, there was nobody within about 10 meters. He breaks one tackle. Still looking, still looking, bangs this one inside the 50 meter arc. Overcooked everybody. That goes out the back. That one was kept in play. They didn't concede the behind, but now there's two war goals there, and the one player in the back for the Lions was able to get the ball free. They're able to clear it out. San Diego gets out of jail as that one goes through the hands of Tristan Cruz. This one is chipped in over the top. 2-1-2 two -two contest. Going out to get it and picking that one up and turning that one in board is Fernandez. Marked in the middle and a chance to extend the lead. Great job by Fields. And Fields rushed his kick. And uh, no signal from the goal umpire. It ended up going out of bounds, uh, but staying in play, so it'll be a boundary throw it. Ball comes back in. 
as this one comes up. Chipped in, marked. Going to go in a hurry as turning around was a rin, was a, not Rintoul, but uh, Matt Anderson. As that one is sent up high, marked. And another chance, I believe, for Fields again. No, it's the 24, who is Coffee, another danger man. Coffee goes back, slots this one on the way, and he makes absolutely no mistake as he kicks it into the construction zone. And that extends their lead. And Max Ducey thinking about going over and then thinking better of it. We were talking about that earlier today. We'll update the score on the Watch AFL scoreboard. San Diego goes to 4-4-28, and Wasatch 1-1 behind. I think we'll have a little bit of a delay here. I don't know if they're going to go after the ball. Well, I think they are. Somebody's gone. I think that's uh, Delfina. No, it isn't Delfina. She's over there. That's somebody else. Well, <coughs> well, they chase it. They've gotten another one. We were talking about that earlier. They're doing construction. They're building two new fields uh, facilities behind us uh, here at the Western Sports Park as this one bounces and dribbles and goes out of bounds. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Not a bad result for the War Goals. They're directing traffic. And the Lions. Ball comes spinning, spinning, back in the play, knocked down. It's going to get picked up. Big swing and a miss, and it, I think it's going to be improper disposal, I think. Or it went out of bounds first. No, it is improper disposal. Free kick to the Wargles. I have a chance to add another score here. And this is Jordan Esley Coleman. So Ashley Coleman will go back. Would love to kick his team's second goal of the day. Kick is up on the way. It will die in the square. There's a ton of bodies there, and it's through for a behind. There was a lot of humanity in front, and that takes them on to 1-2-8. Lead back to 20 points. 4-4-28 four, four, San Diego. Ryan Barish here with you. Glad to have you as well. Last 90 seconds of this third quarter. Nice mark over the top by <coughs> Coffey. Coffey chips this one in. All alone is Rintoul. Rintoul has a bounce. Winds up from 20 meters out, or rather that's Anderson who does so, and the ball gets knocked down. Turning around and looking for an opportunity. Gonna get picked up. This is Fernandez. Dances away and taken down. And <clears throat> believe that he was caught high, and yes, it is. So Fernandez will go back and have a chance at the goal. Waning seconds of this third quarter. We'll double check the score because what they have is one point off, but I think we're right. Fernandez, kick is on the way. It is doing, it's a Wilbur post. Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. And San Diego's lead cracks up by one. They go to 4-5-29, Wasatch 1-2-9. A reminder, of course, coming up after this game and we'll say about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes or so, you have the Division I, I'm sorry, the Men's Grand Final as San Diego, as uh, Sacramento takes on Golden Gate. And that is that. That's the end of the third quarter in this fifth place game as the Sac San Diego Lions lead the Wasatch War Goals by 21 points. It's San Diego, 4-5-29, the goals, 1-2-8. We'll be right back for the fourth and final quarter of this one when we return. You're watching the 2020. Brian Barish back here with you. Fourth quarter is underway. As the War Goals now heading to the left of screen. And they try and get the ball away, or checking it, check it. They're heading to the right. They're headed. The Lions are heading to the left. That one was turned in nicely. 
The ball goes out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. The Lions are heading from right to left. So we'll have a boundary throw in. <coughs> and that one is going through. I think there was a, no, uh, it went out of bounds. Or was it a free kick? No, it's a free kick that's been awarded. And right in front is Dobrik. <coughs> Dobrik, waiting, striding. Arches the back and shanks it. And that goes through for a behind. And that two is now on the other side of the fence in the parking lot. But San Diego gets another point. They go to 4 6 30. And the War Goals still on 1 2 8. We have an official start time for the Division I Grand Final, which will be 4.30 local time. So if you're watching back in California, that will be in about 15 minutes, so 3.30 Pacific. If you're watching us on the West Coast, or in the East Coast, rather, that's a 6.30 start. And if you're watching us in Australia, bless you. <laughs> We're talking about an 8.30 a.m. start in Melbourne Sunday morning. Mark is taken. The ball is kicked up on the far side. The ball goes out of bounds. And taken down. And then send this one back the other way. A mark is taken by Robinson. Robinson with the football. He's going to wait for some of his teammates to come down. Probably should have gone now. He has a couple of options short. And instead, it ends up going out of bounds. No, oh, and it'll be a free kick going the other way. So here come the Wargles mem with members of the Portland Steelheads in tow. Turns inside, and the mark is taken by Rintel. <coughs> Max Rintel with the football. Former all-regional selection. Kicks this one in, and it's nicely marked right on the, right on the logo. And it is marked by the 61, which is the coach, Michael Ross. Ross strides in and kicks truly. And that's the fifth goal of this game for the Lions. They go to 5-6-30, or rather 5-6-36. And Wasatch, 1-2-8. The Lions have gotten new jumpers this season. They were, and, and I will tell you, if you are, uh, you're ever planning a jumper, you know, does a jumper design, um, it's always good to go with white numbers against a dark jersey. Case in point, See, I can read San Diego's numbers. I've been struggling with Wasatches, but that's okay. This one is sent in quickly. San Diego, again, looking for more points. Again, another opportunity as this one is dropped in front as Ross was trying for his second goal in a minute. Ducey was able to get it out. Spun around. Hernandez went back. Again, swinging around. Now going the other way. Ross, again, finally able to get it away. Left-footed kick by Robinson on the way. And that one bounces through. Going to get picked up. Turns around, squares up from an odd angle, and that's a good goal. And now it's party time. And the Lions... Kick their sixth. They go to 6 6 42. Wasatch 1 2 8. The Lions are going to finish in fifth, it appears, unless the Wurgles can uh, score and retrieve in about less than five minutes. Ball 
Ball is underway once again. <coughs> when is kicked out at the back by Milne. Now cycling around. Handball down. That was doing right off the schnoz. And it bounces into the middle. Kicked in and kicked high. One on one contest. Good. No, he wasn't paid it. And everybody acted like he was, but not paid to Milne. And the ball's going out of bounds. As we have one game left after this on this, at this beautiful, beautiful field. I mean, I'm, I live in Pennsylvania. We don't have mountains like this back home. That, that one is uh, steered in towards, and they're going to try and add another one. And that one came across the face off the foot of Golson, who's had his share of majors today. And he's got all sorts of time. Has a bounce. Has a second bounce. Why not go for three? And it was smothered. And Ducey picks up the ball and keeps going once again. Goes in the middle of the ground. Drops in front. Going and picking that one up the other way. Almost came from behind and got him. But that one is sent into the cow paddock. Here's Hernandez. He'll run up. He's got Linsner with him. He'll cut to the inside one Linsner's screen, but turn it over, and that ends that. So the Wargles have the ball at the back. Moves out slowly to the left side. That one is picked up. Oh, he slipped on the invisible Super Mario Brothers banana peel and then spun around a couple of times. Ball popped up high in the air. Going to get picked up by Robinson. Bounces through. Handballs it over. Finds and Matt Anderson. Drops in front and then picked up, and that ends that one. And here is Golden, who sends it back the other way. Mark. Sending this one back in and again marked this time by the War Goals. That isn't Max Ducey because Ducey's wearing 33, but it is one of the Portland boys. Portland winning Division II a season ago. And probably would have, I think they would have made a very good combination again if they would have played a lot of the, I guess, the, the lower sides more in Division Two. But the numbers dictated one division. Here's another opportunity for the Lions. And this one will go all the way across the face unless it went home. It did. It's a goal. And another six points to the Lions. And they are just cruising here. They go to 7-6-48. Wasatch 1-2-8, it's a 40-point lead, one minute to go. And for the War Goals, you know, they, listen, they got on the scoreboard the first two games. I think at the end of the day, Lizzie Sawyer and Luke Cruz and everybody here, they're just going to take a step back and kind of just look at what went right, what they still have to <coughs> improve upon. There's a lot of relatively new players to the sport on this team. And the fact that they were able to host, we're going to call it now, a successful tournament here in Utah, I think is a big achievement to their club. Long may they reign, not on this day and on this occasion, but Golson taking the mark in what might very well be the last kick of the game. So waiting for Golson's kick and the siren. Taking his time. There is the siren. There's the kick. There's the goal. And there's the game. Well, the war goal scored the first goal of the game and their first goal of this tournament. 
But in the end, the Lions showed their class. And in the final score, in the fifth place game of the men's division, it's the San Diego Lions, 8-6-54. The Wasatch War Goals, 1-2-8. Good job to both teams. And the War Goals and the Steelhead combination didn't <coughs> give up one iota. But the Lions, the Gamblers, and the Hawks banding together take out fifth place. We have one final game, the first place game, the grand final in the men's division as the Golden Gate Ruse face off against the San Diego Lions. Uh, let's try that again. The Golden Gate Ruse face off against the Sacramento Suns. That is coming up in about 10 minutes time. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the 2024 USAFL Western Regional Championships from Farmington, Utah here on USAFL.com. This presentation of the USAFL is brought to you by Tasmanian, quietly pursue the extraordinary. Coopers, Australian made and owned. Coopers Beer, Aussie Sports USA, the official apparel provider of the USAFL. Odin Mortgage and Tax, Australian mortgages and taxation for expats and overseas residents. Cybersolve IQ, the inaugural cybersecurity partner of the USAFL. Two Hands Restaurant, fueling your lifestyle. Watch AFL, stream every match overseas. Brown Brothers, family winemakers since 1889. HBC Event Services, Premier Sports Medicine, and the members of the USAFL.